Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB Specialist Mobile Application Tester. We are in chapter five talking about automating the test execution for mobile applications and continuing ahead with the next segment of it, which is 5.2, Automation Test Methods. As a part of this tutorial, we'll be understanding more about what are the various ways which can be utilized for mobile applications to create automation scripts. Now, automation methods generally gives us the various possibilities by which a script can be prepared. And at the same time, we need to understand not always the same methodology can be used in order to prepare the script in order to automate your mobile application testing because not all the mobile applications are specific to your object. There are a lot of applications which are image specific. For example, if you talk about the games like Candy Crush or you talk about Temple Run, these are all uh, object. These are not object bas uh, basis. They are basically an image specific thing. And not only that, there are a lot of many other apps which have text, but they are not object specific. They are more of like a visual interaction to you. And sometimes it becomes challenging to identify these objects and interact with them. Now to develop automated tests, the tester needs to understand the automation script recording or creation mechanism. That's the most important thing that how will you identify the applications in order to create the automation script. So creating the automation script is the most crucial step and how to access and interact with the application's graphical object such as buttons, list boxes and input fields. Now, several methods exist for identifying a graphical object used for the mobile test automation. Now, these include image recognition, where the option is also like ECR, OCR and test recognition, where OCR goes with optical character recognition and in fact, the object recognition. Now, this all completely depends on web or native, depending on the application type. Now, a mobile application tester needs not uh, only practice the graphical object detection and identification, but also to understand which object identification method will be most applicable or capable enough in enabling the successful test to be run on a large variety of mobile devices in parallel and continuously. Now again, not all the objects can be identified with the same approach. So you need to identify various approaches to identify several objects on the screen. Now let's understand more about the comparison and have a look on it. Further to add, we are talking about how, what are the key differences between the script creation methods. And we are talking about two different uh, methodologies, which are quite important for creating the automation scripts. That is object identification and image or OCR comparison. First, the reliability. Let's talk about the factor, which is reliability for object identification. As long as the identifier is constant, the screen layout can be changed. The risk is that the object can be identified and interacted with in the code while being hidden from the user. This may lead to false negative test results as well, right? That's one of the key factors that, you know, the object can be identified and interacted within the code while being hidden from the user. So it can be like it's not does not have a visibility and it can result into false negative situations where the result is correct, but don't know how exactly you went wrong. Now, on the other hand, image comparison, it says images can be scaled according to the screen size, but test will fail as soon as the layout changes. Now, of course, you may have a standard image captured for the testing, but when it goes to different screens, you may have definitely different resolutions and different screen sizes. Thus, the picture size will also zoom in and zoom out according to the device and your script will not admit that as the actual is different from expected. The second thing is user experience. When it comes to UI UX components, usually manual scripting is required for object identification, at least to improve the recorded script for readability and maintainability. Whereas when it comes to image, full GUI based testing without the need of scripting. Okay, it's more of like, you know, full GUI based testing need to be done uh, without the uh, scripting being captured. When it comes to execution speeds, the object identification method is expected to be faster than the image comparison. Now, what is that? 
it tends to be faster than image or OCR comparison, especially when using native tools provided by the system manufacturer. At the same time, when it comes to image, it tends to be slower due to the need to compare the screen pixel by pixel because it's more of image driven and image comparison is always done pixel by pixel uh, with the baseline image, which is the expected image. So thus it makes it slower compared to the object identification method. On the maintenance point of view, depends on quality of the test scripts and here in the OCR, mainly in providing the change baseline images. So what kind of maintenance efforts would be required? So here it depends on the quality of the test script. If it is already prepared in such a way that it requires minimal maintenance, then you don't really have to put a lot of effort. But on the image comparison side, it completely depends on the baseline image. If the image is modified, you just make a change for that. Again, minimal, depends on how frequently you modify the information. Coming to authoring challenges, uh, for the object identification, knowledge required of the scripting language and of the software design method to build a sustainable automation solution. It's a mandatory thing because you will be writing scripts, you will be designing them, formatting it, integrating with a lot of other steps and customizing. So you would certainly need to be expert in the scripting part in order to play around with your automation script. Whereas when it comes to image comparison, Generation of baseline images, especially when app changes often will be a challenge because app can certainly show up different images, right? If you talk about Candy Crush, they do not have a standard image and it's all about like different color, different pictures are being shown to you every time. So mapping them, you know, every time to unique images would be slightly difficult. And that's where we understand that that becomes one of the challenge for the author to prepare the script. Well, that was our simple tutorial talking about different automation methods which can be used for mobile application testing. I hope you got a clarity and have really understood the same. So that's all from this particular tutorial team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.